Hello and welcome to Pure Experiences Online Satsang. This satsang is a meeting, an opportunity for everyone to ask their questions, clear their doubts, and discuss the spiritual matters. And this is also a part of the program, the Path of Knowledge program. Preeti is asking, what is it when you know when you have a question but your brain is not able to frame it? You are looking for answers but you are not aware of the right questions. what is it <laughs> my brain is brain is not able to frame the answer now if you have uh, if you want to know something and you don't know what it is just relax continue continue your study continue your practice and uh, probably after some time you will get the right words to express it don't try to push it too much if you are looking for answers you don't know what to ask simply listen simply listen to uh, the teachers that you like if you enjoy listening to some teacher keep listening and slowly you will know what is the right question and this happens to new, to newcomers a lot they don't even know what to ask they they keep asking very frivolous questions very rudimentary questions so uh, the only way there is because there is nothing there at all in a total ignorance total darkness so the question is also not related to knowledge or something it will be something like you know what should i do with my relation or what what job should i do and you know they go to gurus and they ask these questions and the guru is sometimes irritated sometimes very compassionate so they tell them you know what to do <laughs> or they say okay sit down and attend my meetings don't do anything keep coming here and when the words are given to them even if they don't have the knowledge you see i say experiencer i say maya i say this and that and uh, that the words they receive the words only not the knowledge and there is the opportunity to to ask the question that day you said uh, there is oneness no now i want to know what it is so there is the opportunity to ask it you pick the words from the guru and you start asking there that is what we are doing on in the program there are lectures you try to understand what is said because you know they're pointing to your experience only and if you don't understand then you immediately know what to ask he said vibration i don't find any vibration in my experience so you ask the question what is vibration and that is how you progress you see but if you are looking for answers no no questions at all that means you are not even listening that means you are listening to nothing surashri so is asking you keep evolving getting better each birth but uh, how do i improve if i don't know what wrong i did in my previous birth believe me you will know what wrong you did you will know probably you will not know the actual events that happened they are not important because the causal body stores stores the essence the universal memory stores the events this like this it is like this the causal body stores the essential impressions so in this life time you are feeling alone let us say nobody talks to you and you are always like inclined towards spirituality and uh, you you are disgusted by the education system and the financial system here and whatever there is in the world and you simply love to listen to the teachers and you like art sciences and philosophy a lot now <laughs> you know you know what happened in your previous birth and nobody has told you to do this you are copying nobody actually there is nobody to copy also you are in a spiritual desert of some kind and now you can totally guess through logic that your previous lives are sp- spent in spiritual seeking nothing else if you are among kind of unnecessary people if you are stuck in uh, poverty bad situations and so on your intellect does not work properly now you know what happened in your previous birth nothing good happened there so you don't need to exactly go in your previous birth and remember each and every event to correct yourself you can improve simply by looking at your current situation look at your current situation like there is a story in the spiritual circles that when you are hit by an arrow get rid of the arrow first do not try to 
search for the person who shot the arrow or do not try to analyze the arrow you know whether it is metal whether it is wooden whether there is poison in it or what kind of feathers it is having it is made in india or made in china no you don't analyze just break the arrow get rid of it that is the best thing to do don't even search for the one who shot you just run and hide because the next arrow is you know going through your head now so <laughs> don't wait for the recall of the previous birth it is already there the recall has already happened it has manifested as your life look at your experience it is a memory memory of what you will say look at it it is it is like this because of some karmic attachments like if you want to use the old language or i say attractor now you, the 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 amendment will happen only in present not in past fix it right now you can see what mistakes are being done you can fix it any intelligent person can see it not consult your guru and then follow the instructions of the guru the guru the guru's instructions will look like something very destructive but uh, you can see it you can see it it's not that difficult i mean i can see what what is happening in my life very easily and then we can guess wh- what kind of person i was in the previous birth but uh, i'll tell you the secret forget the past completely concentrate on the present do the needful do the necessary do that which is practical in the present moment it's all false there is no previous birth there is no future birth it's all an illusion from this point of view we just treat it we don't worry about births and anything there are people who will just you know hunt for that fellow who was their enemy in the past life and they go and take the revenge <laughs> i said why <laughs> what kind of uh, solution is that what is that oh no no i need to find my husband whom i married in the past life because this relation is not working today see you have already made a mistake in the past life don't repeat here don't repeat it here let go of your husband of your previous birth first and then let go of the present birth husband also i don't i don't mean that you take divorce you become friendly you accept your relation that is the correct thing to do so do not hunt for your memories they are all illusory that day i was telling you some people are so foolish they are trying to do this regression and all and the maya fools them even more the maya is kind of waiting for this stupid to, to arrive there and the maya gives you whatever you want to know exactly that it is never true the maya tries to fool you you are going there with this this intention let me find that fellow who is the cause of my present trouble i want to find what happened and she will produce the same scenario there according to your expectations maya will produce that exactly same scenario which you are expecting you come here you try to fix things and nothing will work so remember you even you know your yesterday is an illusion you don't even think about past lives look at the present alpha is saying it is said to practice detachment do you work without having any attachment or when must aim to achieve desireless work but having this kind of aim or to have this aspiration for self realization knowledge etc isn't a desire in itself and see you cannot practice detachment the detachment comes the detachment comes it is a result of knowledge if you don't have knowledge if you don't have self self realization then whatever you do will be circus it is not a practice anybody who does anything without knowledge just wasting their time do your work without without having any attachment not possible not possible for an ignorant fellow to be detached you should know the meaning of detachment detachment is complete acceptance all only so the first step is to get the knowledge and have this desire you know have all the desires like he is saying isn't this desire in itself so what is wrong in that <laughs> you don't want it you don't desire self realization then nobody can help you hopeless oh it is a desire i should not have the self realization hopeless 
have all the desires that are given to you they are given by the devi they are not mine fulfill the desires and above all is the desire for knowledge that is the best desire to have for a human accept all the desires work towards them with complete acceptance complete detachment because it is not mine you are detached and because it is the devi you are doing it because why devi is doing it there is no you how will you know all these things how will you know that it is not mine how will you know that it is simply done like i am using the devi terminology here is is beautiful but you can also say that the illusion happens by itself the, the desires are a part of the illusion that should cause detachment in the illusion not in me because i am already detached you see the experiencer is 100% detached you can see it right now is it concerned with what is what is happening no is there any desire in the experiencer no i am that yes am i not already detached am i not already actionless yes no what are you trying to do knowledge is enough have the desire for knowledge accept all the desires they are not yours and be in awareness you see whatever happens happens it is fine it is perfect it is the most beautiful thing that is happening there is nothing else there is nothing else in this existence there is this desire to appear as something and there is this witness which wit is which witnessing whatever is appearing the rest is confusion in your mind it was a nice satsang and i hope everybody enjoyed it everybody got their answers and hopefully you are enjoying the program also and i'll meet you next time thank you very much for att- attending the meeting